Hi, it's just me, Miss Nana, and today we're going to be cutting my weave. Um, I have an old weave. It's getting a little frizzy, so we're just going to trim up the ends a little bit. And I thought I had my camera going when I uh, cut the bottom part, but I didn't. So what I did was part my hair in half and then split it down the middle, and then I laid the hair flat against my collarbone or you know my chest and then I just cut it across on both sides and that is to give it the V shape in the back you can see the V forming in the front but it's to give it the V shape in the back as you can see the camera's kind of cutting it off but you get the gist of what I'm trying to say and it looks a little off it might be a little off but I'll fix it later so now we're just going to start cutting some layers into the hair this is going to be a really quick cut because I don't have all day to be doing on my hair. Now the reason why I'm cutting it is because this weave is about a month old. But the hair is old. The hair has been recycled I think two or three times now already. And as you can see the ends are a little frizzy. And the hair is shedding like crazy. You know when it starts getting frizzy at the ends and it starts shedding. It's, it's a nuisance. And I don't want to take it out. Because my braids underneath are still pretty tight. And I don't want to redo my whole hair. So I just want to freshen up this look a little bit. I'm just going to cut some layers in it. Simple. And I'm, what I'm doing now, I'm just trying to find where the frizziness starts. You know what I'm saying? The section where it's still silky, where the hair is still a little silky, and then where the freeziness is. That's what I'm trying to find and I'm having some technical difficulties as you can tell. So from, I'm, I'm feeling and now I finally figured out where it is and it's right at the bend of the last curl and that's where I'm going to be cutting. The time is cool. What you gonna do? And there we go, pretty simple. And I'm just going to do this whole side like that. And you see two cuts in, I'm pretty much done with this side. It's really fast. Keep it in your mind that I need to do what you want me to. And you need to rest because the both of us can go all night. Again, filling my way for the frizziness, and then I'm just gonna cut the little frizzy edges off and keep it moving. Keep it in your mind that I need to do. And right now it's feeling so much better. It's uh so much lighter and it's silkier. That's the thing I like. So frizzy is not a it's not a good look. And all I have to do is cut my bangs and then I'm done with that side. Took about six clips off, you know, six cuts throughout the whole you know that side and that side is pretty much done right now I'm just going uh, filling making sure I got everything because sometimes you can miss some pieces and I think I missed a piece back there and I'm just trying to find it Excuse me, I know it's Miss. I'm trying to find it. I feel you know how you feel something, you just can't see it, and I finally find it. So that's that last section for this side, and that side is all done. It's a lot thicker, as you can see from the side by side shot. The side's a lot thicker. It's a lot bouncier. It's moving. It's flowing a lot better. So now I'm just gonna go comb it out, make sure I got everything, and uh, get the curls back popping. This is actually a finger roll hair. So if you know about, if you wear the finger roll hair, you know about the finger roll hair and how the, all the curls tend to swoop to one side of your head. So I'm just going to go and do this other side. That took all of what, two or three minutes just to do that side. So I'm just going to do the other side really quick. And I'm not going to, you know, tape the whole thing. I'm just having a little bit of technical difficulties on the side trying to cut. Look at the position of my hands. It's not a good look. But we're going to get it together. I just wanted to show you how hard of a time I was having cutting this other side. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm going to go finish that up. 
and now I'm all done it was really quick I'm just taking out the back so you can see the nice V shape that's going on in the back the curls are nice and layered so now it's time to style it I'm going to take my jam and slick down my edges because I am transitioning it's been a year for me I've been transitioning and the edges are nappy so we got to put some jam on that and hold that stuff down because it's not cute and I have some triple gold. I just like this stuff because it smells really good. It makes your hair smell really, really good. It's not doing anything for the weave. Just for me, just gives it a nice shine and makes it smell good. So I'm just going to put that in. Now I'm just going to style and I can be on my way. That did not take long. About a five minute haircut and you got a new look. A totally different look and I'm loving it. You guys can tell me what you think. I can love you, baby girl, if you stay with me all night. All day, all day. Okay, now here are the results. Wanna love you in every way. And this is me. I actually went back and cut my bangs a little bit shorter. You know how to cut your bangs, so I didn't really take that part. Just cut me a little bit of bang in there. No big deal and here are the before and after shots as always thanks for watching